<laughs> so I'm gonna interview you. Oh no! Look at this. She comes in my studio. Now she wants to interview me. I'm supposed to interview you. Well, but we need to let people know how Brazilian Winter Warmer had the idea from. Yeah. And it was a lot through our conversations, not just about Brazilian culture, but what we are both really into it now and for a long time, but yeah. even more now, yeah. uh, which is sustainability in the carnival sector. Yeah. Yeah. So I would like you to talk a little bit about what John Canoe is. Well, I know I think that was what is exciting about me trying to be involved with the Brazilian winter because there was that sustainability angle, which yeah. is an angle that I've been dealing with for a year now. Yeah. Uh, what happened is most of the carnival people, they tend to use a lot of unnecessary stuff that damage the environment. The worst ones. The worst ones, you know, from sound to the material that they use and so on. And actually, you know, use, people tend to buy new stuff when they got old stuff they can use. Or reuse. So I got really, uh, I've been, for years I've been trying, like for example in St. Paul's, instead of using the lorries, I, bought, I got a hired 12 golf buggies mm -hmm. to do that. And guess what? People are attacking me and say, why are you trying to stop us from doing the loud sounds? But when we did on the day, everybody was happy. The carnival started in Hull International Carnival. Same thing again. We use those shells from Owen. Yeah. We use 12 of those. And that wow. is it. We don't use anything else. And everybody's happy. Rampage, they no more demand big, big sounds. When they come there, I said, I'm sorry, you're going to have two of these. And it works. Yeah. So I thought, wait a minute, uh, I can't keep on doing just like on the road, I better do it like to the whole world. Yeah. That's when I came up with the concept of Jankanu. Yeah, and Jankanu has is, is been bringing people from not just the, the, the Caribbean carnival, but also like Huj and Taru and Manu, so you are able to, and, and Angelique from the Bahamas, so mm. it's nice because you are able to have this as a common ground, but you're being able to reach out to a lot of different carnivals uh, in the world communities. because yes, Pax yeah. Ninja is also uh, the person behind Global Carnivals which is a directory of most carnivals in the world and so I think one thing kind of combines with the other isn't it? Definitely, definitely and also I think the, the, the amazing thing about it is when we did it it was locked down so people were watching like religiously. I had like even as council officers watching it every week. I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, and people contributing as which was most, most the, the, the most exciting part about it. Yeah. Uh, but as it is now, b people are out of lockdown. It's not many people actually want to sit down and watch. But the winter! So, listen, <laughs> yeah, so what we are doing is like actually like really now having snippets of those and then mm -hmm. people can watch it at their own time yeah. rather than watching the four hours. Yeah. And this time it's going to be broken down like it's going to be interview with um, Mariana, Me? inter with Mariana, then that's what we market straight away, or is before we market in like four hours of a program. Wow. Because that's how, that's how we do things now, we, we put a live yeah. event and we go to cook and to clean or to talk and there's that thing in, in the background where we look and we, so I think the pandemic really made our lifestyle to so have that third person yeah, there, which is the yeah, which it, it is, is the shape us in a way streams. that you know, shape us in a way like myself. I've, I've never done live streaming at all until last year. But you realize that there are some really good way to put a content exactly. and to have an archive because exactly. the archive of your lives is now available for for all of us to enjoy yes. in our own, own time. We've, yeah, we've had this amazing time really in terms of people wanting to be interviewed. Not me just going out looking for people, but I've had like, you know, Laura Bambata for all the way from Mexico. Oh, and then she wanted me to interview. Then I interview her, put in there. we have had people in the Bahamas, people in Africa. Now, the most interesting thing that I'm so proud of, you need to know, is that when we're doing Jankanu, I borrowed the traditions from... Um, the Jankanu because they yeah. use cardboard, yeah, for they the use glue, yeah. and that is it, right? In Africa and Ghana, because I was running the Accra Carnival, I also found out in Iniba they had a similar tradition. Yeah. Right. So I went there, checked it out. It's exactly like Bahamas, and I said to him, do you know the people in Bahamas do this? Like, yeah. We don't. Also, we and need I a bridge with, called Jankanu. I speak with Angela. Angela is like, well, yeah, I've had a body, but I don't know. When I showed it, it's like, ah! yeah. Box, that's like exactly what we and do back like, here, uh, and we didn't know each other. Listen, what I'm trying to say to you is there's been a success story. So the Jankanu in Bahamas started speaking with the people in Ghana. Mm -hmm. They've joined now, wow. horses. The people in Bahamas have been to Ghana three times now since oh, we did beautiful. it. The most exciting thing is they've now got together. They've got a festival in March called um, Jankanu International Festival. It's going to be in Ghana. 
That's came out of this Shall we go? Shall we go? You got no choice, man. You're gonna have to go. I yeah. Well, you can <laughs> donate. So you start me saving to... money for Moreno. <laughs> he's yeah, going and to Moreno. Yeah. He's going to Africa for real. Yeah. Oh, I love to. Yeah. Yeah, so well, it's been, I want to say it's been really good and also I think if I didn't have this expertise, we wouldn't have been sitting here together doing yeah. this because for me also, I actually saw what you were doing, I got very excited and I was very upset that we were actually just about to lose that funding and then you kept it and then you done a very wonderful job. Yeah, thanks to many, many hours of um, oh. rewriting, reapplying and, and the trust of Brasiliati in partnership with Gandai Arts for us to bring this to you guys. And also for me, I think the last time that I spoke with Pax was when I was bringing this project that we are trying to uh, present in Brazil called Sustenta, Sustenta Carnaval, which is pretty much about the uh, textile waste of any event. And of course, we start with our pilot yeah. as Carnival because as members of the sector, mm -hmm. this is where our voice is heard firstly through our networks that is already arranged. Um, yeah, so the, this partnership between John Canoe and Selva is because Selva is a, I don't, uh, I, I was going to have you asking me, but I'm uh, going to already say. Excuse me. I've been doing stuff I'm and then he, myself, he says no. interview with Simone. I know who Simone is. Interview yeah. with Anderson. I know. Okay, then so after you... that, self is something. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like, Pax is part of us. I'm like, yeah, it's part of yeah, us. But I don't, self is I don't, us. I don't, what is it? Okay, so self, I'll tell what it is. Self Invasion is a project that started almost 10 years ago with Manuela Benini, myself, and Carlos Simpson from Movimentos. Uh, not only me and Manuela, we gather a lot of, from the times you could fly with two parcels of 32 and pay another one so we always travel with four four big luggages of 32 kilos of costumes that were pre-used in carnivals in rio mm -hmm. in bahia mm -hmm. or in pernambuco and we always r bought uh costumes from groups in brazil from summer schools for instance mafua we bought from nação pernambuco even before with estrela do norte we bought from camaleão and for several, we, had co we have costumes that is from the closing ceremony of the Olympics that were going in the trash. So thanks to Lena Santana, she said, Mari is all going to the bin. So I get Darelli sets to get a car. Like, it's a mission. I got a friend to get a car, a cab, to go then to collect. And then Rebecca Valin posts to us, and we spend like months posting all these things back. What it means is that we need to give a new life and all these characters come alive when they cross the Atlantic. So self invasion is about taking the, uh, use again the costumes for, that we bring from Brazil and that we it's make so here as well. Okay. And we bring the folkloric characters of the um, cultural manifestations from Brazil into um, an area that uh, Gandaya didn't reach before because we had all the dance and the costume and the singing, but we wanted to do more because we are starting now, like for the last 10 years to do more bigger projects where we also reach the kids area. And also we wanted to do something related to the immersive experience through the games of Brazilian traditions. Mm. So self is a bit of everything, is uh, immersive experiences. We put people to play, we put people in costumes, we, we make things, we m play, and we've been part of a uh, rich mix event. We've done... Uh, um, Pepsi building. No, no, we did... Um, what is that? Stand on Calling Festival. We did a kids area for the Horniman and Garden Museum and Gardens. We've done a big day out with the South Bank. So throughout the years, we've done quite a lot, but it's just the pandemic really shut us down yeah, to exactly. our nails. Yeah. But what I mean is that the combination of my work as a practitioner in costume making was always um, into the reuse and readapting and upcycling. But because I also get a lot of bookings to do the dance and the costume aspect it was always like i have boxes of scraps of 17 years of costume making in uk how can we integrate that into the making for brazilian winter warm especially the challenge i think is for us to be talking about eco-friendly making mm -hmm. eco-friendly right, christmas decor yeah. or festive season decor but how can we turn something that is is uh, something that can be recycled. And with our interaction, it cannot be recycled. 
because that's what usually happens. People do uh, eco-friendly stuff and they whack glue gun or, or stickers or, or paint and then something that could go to the recycling bin now mm -hmm. it needs to go to the general so our interaction with the waste needs to be in a way that the waste can still be recyclable if it ends up in the waste bin yes exactly so that was the challenge for what we came up okay. um and it was pretty successful mm -hmm. um the session we already had at the Liberty School and now the ones that we're going to have at the Refugee for uh, Young Girls and the Amazing People of the World and of course our tutorials that were really fun to film oh, in yeah. Grangewood Park me as a doll and Park says <laughs> yeah but the only thing is the interesting thing is it was a frozen chicken the frozen chicken <laughs> no, we yeah we were like hi Anissa. <laughs> join us so we have these three special tutorials filled uh, with uh, very easy things to do they are usually done uh, I can be showing in a A4 but you can adapt that to your uh, gift uh, wrapping paper it can be done with cereal boxes, with juice or milk cartons, and the only thing that you add is the interaction through the scissors and also um, glue or PVA, uh, glue stick or PVA glue. So I think we were really successful in this project because we were able to. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go back. Is it working? No, I had, to, I had to mute it because... <laughs> okay. <coughs> I didn't bring any drink, okay. But you can stop because if you do that... I'll no, no, we're nearly done. I know, but instead of you switch it off and on, you just cough and I add it. No, that was only cough, let's go. Okay. So, as I was saying about the successful bit for this project was really uh, finding easy things that you are able to achieve with your family. The first uh, episode is about making stars in every sort of different material that uh, is on our list mm -hmm. and then the second one is flowers the third one is bows and christmas tree so you are able to make your house look amazing using those piles of if you have children like me i have a pile of a4 that my son painted and although i find them really interesting i like to make something out of it which you will be able to do with that, with cereal boxes and so on. So for me, we achieve our aim, which was really to present something that will still be able to be in the recycling bin when they finish the festive, or they can just be part of the house decoration forever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Pax, for you know for all your expertise, not only through Brazilian Winter Warm Up throughout the years. Pax has been almost like um, Gandaya's godfather uh, and all my ventures in uk and we have fun in olinda as well in brazil as, in well. Brazil yes, as yes. well so we have fun all around and we hope that you are having fun as much as we are because this project has been just a con continuation of a very special bond and friendship yeah and then uh, as usual you know we still thank all the people involved and yes. the arts council who managed to get this to happen Yes, thank you so much. And now you're going to see our next interaction. Who will be? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy the festiv festivity. And I'm so glad that this lady came up with all this exciting stuff that people can enjoy during this sort of like, you know, and some of you are in Europe, you might find yourself in lockdown, so you got nothing to worry about because you got all this material, very, very exciting, very, very innovative, very, very creative. And what else can I say? Well, I think the, the, the special thing about Brazilian Winter Warm is that we're talking about people you probably never heard about it, but they are very special in the field that they represent. So we need to support these people. Uh, Mestre Assinho from Bahia, Vânia Oliveira and Tatiana Campelo from Salvador, Anderson Nogueira from Pernambuco, Simone Sol and Oleg, she's from São Paulo, he's from Moldavia and they are in, in Tilburg in Netherlands. And of course, Rita Benedito from Maranhão, that is based in Rio, our artists in the Gambia. So, um, we need to help each other and this project is really a special way for us to bring something new that's as part of a, about. Yeah, as part of a collective. Yeah. 
And it's a collective where anybody's welcome as well. Yeah. That's what Ganda is all about. Yeah, so Anyone, join us yeah. to sing, dance and make. We want to see your results as well.